Hello everybody, welcome to the series on what was happening in the business world when we were sleeping last night. Well, Amazon has been in the news for the all the wrong reasons in the past few days. Number one, it has cut down tens of thousands of employees. The second one, it has started trimming down its business units in India. Three business units specifically in the last four to five days. The first one, Amazon Food Delivery, primarily operational in Bangalore. The second one, Amazon Academy, which is in edutech space the third one amazon deliveries for distributors and wholesalers right for the kirana stores and the other retail stores now why is amazon doing this and they had previously huge ambitions for indian market so what is up with respect to india also before we continue further and discuss what are the three specific strategies with respect to what amazon is doing right now request you to click on that bell icon so that you get notified whenever I'm releasing a new video. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Now, the first one that I want to talk about is being offensive versus being defensive, right? There's three verticals that Amazon is shutting down, right? Whether it is in the edutech space or food delivery space or finally in the wholesale delivery space, all these three were super offensive bets, right? They had huge potential, but there was also a lot of risk associated with it. When Amazon started their entire operations in the edtech space, Amazon Academy in Jan 2021, that particular sector, education tech sector, had a huge growth potential, right? Everybody was going to their colleges, to their schools, to attending digital courses, everything online, right? But Two years later, now the scene has shifted. People going back to offline classes has now changed the prospects for not only just Amazon, but also for all the other edutech players. Hence, this became from an offensive bet to a super risky bet for Amazon. Previously, it was the same scenario for the retail delivery system as well for Kiranas and grocery stores, right? Just like how Udan was experiencing a massive growth previously and now Udan is also suffering. Same thing with the food tech sector. So being in these offensive, super risky situations, now Amazon is slowly moving into defensive bets right now, right? They are going into number one, healthcare. Healthcare, hey, boom or bust in the economy doesn't matter. We still need healthcare services, right? So it's an extremely defensive industry and Amazon is increasing its bets in the defensive industry. The second one, is also Amazon is going ahead and putting a lot more focus on the social commerce side. It has acquired a company called as Glow Road earlier this year. It's first acquisition in the social commerce space. So which is again its own niche, so to say, right? So slowly they are moving from these offensive bets to their defensive bets or to their strongholds. Nothing wrong with that. The second area what Amazon is doing is also shifting from go local to being global, right? At the end of the day, Amazon is a multinational company headquartered in the US. However, the three businesses that Amazon has started to trim down, all these three businesses in India are very specific to Indian context. They do not have Amazon Academy anywhere else in the world. They are not delivering food orders anywhere else in the world, similarly the other business. So while Amazon has huge ambitions in India, they're business units that it is shutting down are very specific to India, so might not be aligning with their global strategic ambitions, right? So rather it would want to focus on their e-commerce play itself, because remember e-commerce play in India is also getting super competitive. Who are its competitors? Now Reliance is getting into the play big way. And second, Tata is also getting into the play while we already have Walmart owned Flipkart, which is the leader in the space. So the competition in its own backyard, that's the e-commerce space, is also extremely intensifying. So it's going back to its place rather than betting on some local or India specific businesses, which again, we don't know if they map with their overarching global ambitions. The thing that you need to realize over here is for you, if you are stepping into a job or if you are attending an interview with a big company like Amazon, Facebook, or any of these big companies, see if you are again going and interviewing for that business unit which is specific to that local area or which is specific or which is just getting started, right? Amazon Academy. Now joining these business units is as similar as joining a startup, right? Amazon Academy is 
getting closed and all its employees can either join other Amazon business units or they are getting a severance package. So it's very similar to joining any other edutech startup. So please don't believe that hey, Amazon is Amazon when you are getting hired. You need to understand which business unit or which part of the business you are getting hired in as well. The third thing that we need to talk about is Amazon is now reacting to the market conditions. The first one is Amazon is not just doing layoffs or business trimmings in India only. Right? Their market cap or Amazon's stock price has dropped by close to 50% this year alone. Right? So they have started to cut down cost and they are trying to be more efficient in how they are running businesses. Apart from the three businesses that they are shutting down in India, Earlier this year, they also announced that they are shutting down Amazon bookstores, the physical stores, 68 physical stores located in the entire US. Right? That's a huge, huge business decision. The other one is they are cutting down costs in the Alexa business unit as well. So this is basically reacting to the market because not just the current conditions, but even the next year is expected to be bad, not only for Amazon, but for the broader economy as well. So it is reacting, not just from an Indian context, but also overall business decisions are proving more and more to be towards cost optimization exercises. I hope you agree with my three points around, hey, being local versus being global, offensive versus defensive and also how it is reacting to the overall market conditions. If there is anything else that I'm missing, please go ahead and put it in the comments box and I would love to read them. Thank you guys. Take care and see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.